male student who was founded in his room on the University of the West Indies, Mona Campus, has been identified. He is Kareem Medley, age 21, of a Marvelly Kingston 20 address. Medley was the youngest of his mother of five children. The student who was said to be in his final era of study reported a die from a natural causes when the morning. It was also reported that he had a history of seizures. Since Medley passing, the university has provided counseling service to other residents of the hall. I'm going to address that story I last time. Yeah, because around 30 had somebody who come from the church in my inbox. So I address that story for the last time. When the lady called me up and she begged the money, my man I'm tell her one way say, is that type of work I do. I hear the woman go up on the mic and say, call me up, you prostitution demons. She called me up and when I go up, she said, you prostitution demons, loose her, leave her alone. Remember, you know, God never show you he's a prostitute. I tell you. All right. Anyway, when I look at the camera roll, they have camera in the church. If people don't have the camera ready for me, she turned to them and said, take the camera far. To oh, shame and kill me now, you know, in a queen advice. Me say to them, say, no man, bet the camera stay, because I know the camera don't catch me already. Catch me now, you know. Alright? You see, lie, lie no spread. I truth spread. I lie, it truth hurt people. I'm not telling a lie upon you, lady. I'm not telling a lie upon you. So, you can drag me from now till I'm on, I'm not telling a lie upon you. Lady, you know, say, gift for me of. A long time, I get to call in and now walk in it. Because when you see me, you look at me and tell me that. Because when, me, when I understand with life, you see, when you're there in the street, you get fight. And when you're there at church, you get fight. So I always tell myself, so I'm rather to stay on the road. When me, I make the money and get the fight. I always tell myself so. I don't want a church, lady. So if you're sitting on a piece of church, I don't no want a church. I have 5,000 soon, 6,000 followers. And I don't get up and come on TikTok every day. The amount of people I beg me pray for them and I don't even pray for them. Because I want to fix myself. Listen me, I cannot use God business to be my business. Me can't use God business because I want money. Ah, when me broke and hungry, me tell myself that so I don't get up and come on TikTok every day and big and big taps and rows. Me see me pray for people and people want to bless me and God say not take no money and me cannot take the money. Many are called but few are chosen. And me not have a job and me say God until me get a job, I don't go back on TikTok. Me cannot use God business for my ple pleasure. And that no found no feel for understand. I cannot walk and I cannot drag me, I cannot bring me down. Because I never start, I never did there one time I suffer. You're in my inbox yesterday. Holy Ghost is an exposer. Holy Ghost has exposed you yesterday. You was the only somebody that I tell that I was pregnant at the church. And you come in my inbox and I go tell me, I'm not breathing and dash on the belly. Lady, I did not take the money that you give me to throw away the belly. You didn't give me the money. So even if I was breathing, that don't have nothing to do with you. You're a pastor and I tell you confidential. People have to be careful when I tell them pastor on no business. I have to be careful because only the pastor tell that I was pregnant. And Police in Santana are probing a suspected case of kidnapping after a woman was forcibly taken from her home on Tuesday night. Police said the woman, who is from Ocherius, was kept for more than 12 hours, mercilessly beaten and thrown in a garbage bin where she was left for dead. It was reported that about 10 p.m., the 28-year-old woman was at home when a man entered and used a cloth back to cover her face from behind. She reportedly did not get a chance to look at her attacker who took her into a waiting motor car. Police said the man took her to an abandoned house in Brownstone area of the parish where he beat her non-stop, causing swelling to the left side of her face and cuts all over her body. While beating her, the police said the man kept asking her the whereabouts of her boyfriend. She was left in the abandoned house until around 12.30 p.m. Wednesday. When the man took her out and threw her into a garbage bin outside, she was assisted to the Brownstone police station by a passerby. Investigators later discovered that the woman's boyfriend is in police custody after being charged with a recent larceny incident.